Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qutubiyya Palace today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the Royal Highnesses affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has been very successful in various development areas, ev evidenced by the increasing level of development in various aspects under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has praised the investors' confidence in the components of the banking sector and its legislative environment, as well as its future, in light of the positive economic indicators reflected by the growth rate and the Central Bank of Bahrain's coverage of government treasury bills, in which the demand exceeded the amount of their publications. This indicates a high confidence in the government's economic and financial policy. The Royal Highness has also discussed current local, regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qutubiyya Palace today. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the people of Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of the new Hijri year 1439, wishing them security and stability and many happy returns. His Royal Highness directed that the requirements of the residents of Jidhafs should be met regarding services and facilities and instructed the Ministers of Services to follow up with the needs in the areas of municipal services, housing, health, education and others.
The Royal Highness also instructed the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to visit the new Eidrat market to meet the needs of the sellers and visitors alike and intensify inspection campaigns to prevent sales outside the market to ensure food safety and preserve the cultural appearance of the region. Finally, His Royal Highness ordered the Ministry of Works to provide all services that ensure the cleanliness of the streets and establishments, especially the areas where religious processions will take place for Ashura. The Cabinet approved a number of draft laws submitted by the Coordination Committee, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, First Deputy Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, regarding legislation, facilitation of investment procedures and developing infrastructure. The Cabinet approved establishing a solar power plant to develop 100 megawatts through solar power. This is within the framework of the government's keenness to rely on renewable energy sources in line with the National Plan for Renewable Energy and the recommendations of the Coordination Committee. The meeting also approved a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Committee of Religious Affairs of Kyrgyzstan. The Cabinet referred a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Health of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Korea in the field of healthcare and medical science. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council three draft laws regarding the amendment of Article 127 of the Code of Criminal Procedure and Article 20 of the Building Regulations Law, as well as the amendments of some provisions of the Reform and Rehabilitation Institution Law. Finally, the Cabinet discussed two proposals by the Representatives Council regarding the period of shrimping ban and the other one on members of the diplomatic mission in the embassies of the Kingdom. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputised the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jauda, to honour the winning teams in the fifth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad Futsal League for Youth Centres. Also present was the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports member and the Women's Committee President, Sheikha Hayat bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa. A number of members from the representatives and Shura Councils and a number of presidents of sports unions, national clubs and youth centres, as well as senior officials in the Youth and Sports Ministry, sponsors and contributors. His Highness congratulated the Maharik Centre team for winning the league, which was organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports in collaboration with His Highness's media office for defeating the Sanad Youth Centre team in the final match 4-1. He also congratulated the Special Olympics team for winning the second edition of the Khalid bin Hamid People with Disabilities Futsal League, affirming that the two teams' achievements is a result of their merit and hard work his Highness also congratulated Team Determination for winning the Khalid bin Hamid Girls League, taking place for the very first time. His Highness stated that the Maharik team has been one of the best teams participating in the Khalid bin Hamid League, hailing the administration of the Maharik Youth Centre for developing such a strong team. He also commended the efforts and performance of the Maharik team members in the final match, noting that the achievement was a result of their enthusiasm, determination and keenness to excel. Sheikh Khalid also praised the performance of the Sanad Youth Centre team during the league, wishing them success in the upcoming editions. His Highness added that holding a league for people with disabilities for the second year is a result of the leadership's directives, expressing satisfaction in the conduct of the league's competitions. He stressed that the level of the League for People with Disabilities indicates the success of the Ministry for Youth and Sports Affairs in attracting teams of people with disabilities. His Highness also expressed pride in the presence of women in the League this year. He hailed the large audience during the competition, especially during the final match, who were keen on cheering their teams. Sheikh Khalid expressed satisfaction with the sportsmanship witnessed during the competitions, commending the contribution of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, sponsors and contributors and all the participating committees and the success of the League.
The final matches of three tournaments of the fifth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad League for Youth Centers, People with Disabilities and Girls came to an end at the Khalifa Sports City Hall. The month-long tournament, which took place from July 24th to September 17th, was held under the slogan, Meeting of Generations. We have just recently uh, finished from the uh, uh, ladies or women uh, football game and it was really uh, uh, in such a high standard as you see here. And now we are waiting for the handicap uh, final and after that the youth center. It is really a very uh, distinguished uh, initiative and uh, I'm looking forward inshallah, after all this uh, success that uh, the next year hopefully we can see some other uh, additional uh, sports same like basketball and handball and table tennis because all the girls are eager and it was really successful. It's an excellent opportunity for the girls to play. It's the first time that they include women's football, women's sports into this tournament and I hope it continues. Um, it really helps uh, promote an active lifestyle for everyone and it's something I think that uh, we all aim for. An award ceremony took place to congratulate the winning teams and present appreciation awards to organizations that supported the month-long program, which reflected the kingdom's efforts in enhancing the sports and youth sectors. I'm so proud to be part of this uh, competition. Uh, it's so exciting and it's nothing indescribable to say what I'm feeling now, to, to see these people from disabilities happy and can to do something, it's something I can't describe now. It feels good to win this tournament. It has a very name that we, we are honored to be part of it. Uh, His Majesty was part, uh, sponsoring this tournament for the past five years. We participated in two tournaments previously. And now we have the chance to be crowned as champions. Thanks to him, thanks to the audience, thanks to everyone who attended this futsal festival and made us feel like champions. The league included a total of 59 participating teams, which included centers and societies of people with disabilities and girls teams for the first time this year that provided the opportunity for the kingdom's youth to meet and exchange expertise in addition to enhance their skills and talents. For the fifth consecutive year, the tournament was a success and is one of the many of the Kingdom's initiatives in embracing the youth. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with Pakistan's Director General of Inter-Services Intelligence, Naveed Mukhtar, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of National Guard Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The meeting highlighted the deep-rooted bilateral cooperation reflected by the strong cooperation in all fields. Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa called on further enhancing military coordination with friendly and brotherly countries, which would enhance the stability and security of the region. He expressed Bahrain's pride in military cooperation with Pakistan, noting the country's significant role in upgrading military expertise and operational performance. He commended Pakistan's advancement in combating terrorism as well as securing regional security and stability, wishing Pakistan further progress and prosperity. The Pakistani official hailed the excellent cooperation between the two countries, affirming the importance of building on existing coordination through joint exercises and talks. The meeting also reviewed fields of friendship between the two countries as well as military cooperation and intelligence exchange. The Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa launched the Memorial Art Exhibition of the late artist Rashid Al Orefi in the presence of a number of Bahraini artists and culturists. The Minister delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the gallery pays tribute to the late artist's leading role in the kingdom. The brother of the late artist, Ahmed Al Oraferi, noted that the gallery exhibits a number of the artist's best pieces over four decades, which is a legacy that is a source of pride for the kingdom. 
Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated in a meeting today headed by the United States President Donald Trump regarding United Nations reforms and was attended by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The minister praised the efforts made by President Donald Trump for the reform of the United Nations, which has become an important objective and urgent demand in light of the changes and developments in the world that require significant positive changes to the management of the United Nations and the development of all its bodies to be more efficient and effective in performance and the role it plays in maintaining international peace and security. The minister affirmed highlighted the role played by the United Nations in the humanitarian and development fields, stressing the importance of continuing this role to fulfil the aspirations of the people. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to invest in renewable energy, the Kingdom of Bahrain is set to build a solar power plant with a capacity of 100 megawatts in partnership with the private sector. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Abdul Hussein Ali Mirza, hailed the support of the Cabinet, chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to the operational plans for energy efficiency and renewable energy. He noted the directives of the organisational committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concerning investment in renewable and sustainable energy, which is a priority for the government. The construction of a solar power plant is part of the Kingdom's efforts in achieving sustainable development, providing a healthy environment and diversifying energy sources. Tender bids are expected to be submitted by February of 2018 and the power plant is expected to be completed and operational by the end of 2019. The Cabinet adopted in 2016 the National Plans for Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, which includes a goal to reach a 5% of renewable energy dependency by 2025. As part of the Labour and Social Development Ministry's series of job fairs to increase employment opportunities for national job seekers in the private sector, Minister Jamil Humaydin opened the General Job Expo earlier today. More on the Expo now with this report from Heba Abdul Rafa. The opening of the General Job Expo today in Jafar serves as a great platform connecting employers with job seekers. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development is keen to establish these exhibitions near the residential areas of citizens to facilitate their job hunting process. Very happy today to have an exhibition close to the people, uh, targeting people from uh, Manama and Jofir. Uh, no wonder His Highness' direction to the ministers uh, to go out and meet the people and be close to the people and listen to them. You can see that this exhibition uh, is close to the people and we can see a, a very good show up today of people seeking jobs. The ministry along with 25 private entities provide about 1,000 job vacancies that pay a minimum of 300 dinars per month, aiming to integrate citizens into the labour market getting a lot of publication. In fact, you'll be happy to know that my current staff was taken uh, from the previous exhibition. So this is a good platform from, uh, from the ministry side where, where the companies can come and recruit. Vacancies for sales representative, say, uh, logistics officer, operators, um, mechanical engineers and die corrector. Until now we received a good amount of CVs and we are looking for more. The attractive vacancies aren't only targeting experienced job seekers, but fresh graduates as well. We do uh, employ young, fresh graduates because we give them a lot of training and we have had good experience with fresh graduates, especially, you know, Bahrain uh, labor market has, I feel, a very high standard of education. So we're very happy so far with our Bahraini candidates. The availability of a variety of sectors including technology, hospitality, industry, medicine, education and many professional sectors as well as vacancies for people with disabilities is great for not only the applicants but to continuously enrich these growing sectors in the kingdom with its highly educated national workforce. 
is very beneficial for the fresh graduate who are looking for a suitable chance that it suits their qualification and their expectation. And actually for me, it helps me. They, they integrate the, all the companies together in one place. So it helps us and it simplifies uh, the matters for us. The keenness of the ministry doesn't stop there. It also offers 460 training programs in coordination with Temkin Fund to provide them with the necessary skills needed in the labour market. Endless crowds of applicants along with plenty of job opportunities in different fields make the Great Employment Fair kicked off today by the Ministry of Labour. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghafoor. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, received affiliates of the third batch of the first Deputy Premier Fellowship Programme. The Minister highlighted the role of the programme in developing the skills of the youth and enhancing their abilities to enable them to positively contribute to the march of development in the Kingdom. Valuing the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to the youth sector. Al Zayani also noted the role of the Ministry in reinforcing the organisational and legislative structure of the commercial, industrial and tourism sectors, hailing the past initiatives which have contributed to enhancing the national economy, commending the Ministry's efforts in developing the tourism sector. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,298.47 points, marking a decrease of 1.56 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, insurance, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 87.78% of total shares. 145 transactions included 10,288,027. 271 shares worth 1,761,201 Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, affirmed the Ministry's keenness to launch more tourism programs aimed at attracting more tourists from all over the world. He said the Ministry has made great strides in implementing that strategic plan for tourism since its inception in early 2016. He added that the Ministry will start early next year in 2018 in the preparation of the second part of the strategic plan for tourism in order to achieve sustainable tourism development. As Zayani also revealed, the ministry will plan to develop a new center for exhibition and conferences.